Hello everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer and I have a quick tutorial for you. This is an NDI tutorial with OBS Studio. And I'm also going to use Streamlabs OBS on my streaming PC. Uh, this gameplay that you see right here, this is uh, Unraveled 2, really has nothing to do with tutorial. It's purely just for eye candy, just to keep my game PC OBS Studio from looking so boring with the black screen. Alright, so anyway. I want to show you how this NDI works. Now, NDI, if you do not know anything about it, I will link you with this video in the description that you can really see what NDI does and how you can set up a dual PC streaming configuration with it without a capture card. Okay, but for this NDI, there is another way that you can actually route individual sources directly to your streaming PC. In particular, where I think you will, a lot of people will find this useful is for audio specific sources like your microphone. Uh, communications if you have a discord set up a discord channel set up or music or something to that effect and uh, so I'm going to show you my microphone I think this is a, a really a cool way to get your microphone over to your streaming PC from your gaming PC all right so here is my gaming PC and my microphone is here at my AT2020 you can see me talking in it on the mixer here um, and before anybody ask why how did I get my mixer off of here Go to View, go to Docs, make sure that Lock UI does not have a check. If it has a check, click on it and click this. It'll uncheck, and then you can move all any of these different little parts of the UI on and off or move it around, all that stuff. You can dock it here if you want to. You can move it back off. Okay, so I figure somebody's going to ask that question, but there's a quick, there's a quick tutorial in the tutorial. Back to what we need to talk about. All right, so here is my microphone. I want to send this over my streaming PC, but I don't want to send all the video and everything else with it. Uh, if I were to use this desktop, it would send every single audio source that's selected to channel one in advanced audio properties right here. All these sources in channel one would go to my streaming PC along with this video and my browser source alerts. I don't want that. I just want to send the microphone. All right, so instead of doing the uh, NDI tool, here so left click on that left click on filters and then you have a dedicated audio NDI audio output so a uh, filter so by uh, hitting the plus sign selecting the dedicated NDI output and when you when you select that you'll get this uh, UI where you can go and name it whatever you want here I've got it called microphone hit apply changes and then you now have your microphone being fed to your network that it can be picked up by any uh, app that can receive an NDI source, okay, including OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. So I am going to switch to my game, my streaming PC that has Streamlabs OBS. You can see my microphone here. Okay, so let me delete this. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to add an NDI source. Uh, great thing about Streamlabs OBS, NDI source receiving is built in. It does not send NDI data. It does not capture and send it. It just receives it. But that portion is built in. You don't have to worry about a plug-in like you would with OBS Studio, installing the run times, all that stuff. So add the NDI source. Let's call this microphone. Add new source. Now, you want to go to source name, you want to pull the menu down, and you want to find microphone that you named it on your gaming PC, which is right here. So this is my gaming PC's uh, uh, network name, and then the microphone in parentheses. All right, so now I have a dedicated audio uh, for my microphone on the streaming PC that I can control back and forth to, uh, you know, going it's going out to Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you use. Okay, now, the great thing about the audio, let me switch back to my gaming PC, as you can see, this is working, right? Um, it works independently of the volume control here. So if I were to turn this down, okay, um, you will see that despite my microphone being down here, um, I can switch over to the streaming PC, and it's still up there toward the uh, yellow there, okay? So really doesn't have an effect on it like uh, it does here okay which is actually pretty cool and you just heard my volume come up as you can see it's back up to normal levels now all right so 
here we go so i wanted to show you that a uh, cool thing about this too is that it all it goes through any of the filters that you've added so compression noise gate um it goes through those before it goes out to your ndi output so uh, any filters you add here the effects will go over to your string and pc also which is awesome okay so here's another thing that you want to know you can do this again for any of these sources so if i wanted to do this for my discord um simply go to filters add the dedicated ndi output name it whatever apply changes and boom this audio channel for comms is now going over to your network and you would simply go over to your string pc which i'm switching to now and you would hear it you would make an ndi source for your comms and i've done it here for discord so if somebody were to come in my discord channel and talk i would get the audio feed right here okay so you can do this for anything uh any of your sources in your gaming pc uh including video media browser all that stuff goes over but let me explain a few things real quick okay so back to the gaming pc um say if i wanted to send my alerts over to uh my gaming or my stream PC by right clicking filters. Uh, this is the this is the NDI okay output again. Just hit the plus symbol. Dedicated NDI NDI output now here NDI OBS NDI fix alpha blending. You don't want that. You want dedicated NDI NDI output. A cool thing about this for video and any transparencies is that it has alpha with it. So you can send transparencies over NDI and you will have that, you know, alpha channel with it, which is really cool. Okay, so again, to do this, you do the dedicated NDI output. Here I have named it alerts, alerts. I don't know why I did it alerts there, but anyway, um, it's called alerts here too. I've applied changes. Now, this is being sent to the gaming to the streaming pc okay so let me switch this back over and i want to go to sources uh ndi source i'll add the source and then i'm going to call this alerts add the source and here we go so there is the alerts now note look at this right here browser sources will not send the audio just the video same thing for game capture, same thing for display capture. Okay, one of the things I wanted to show you, the way you get around that is uh, here, as you've noticed, I'm still sending this NDI main output, which is desktop OBS. In your scene. Okay, so for, some, for things like that, you might want to use a combination of this and dedicated outputs for audio sources and you can get the full uh, gamut so i'm going to close let me close the alerts here i'm going to delete that okay and i'm just going to go and make an ndi source let me switch over to game, the streaming pc here i'm going to make an ndi source here and i'm going to look for my desktop obs and i'll just call this desktop And this is going to pick up on the uh, tool output. And there you go. So now you got my alerts. You have uh, the desktop audio, which let me turn that down some. You have everything uh, that was being sent through the normal way of doing NDI, which will give you your video, your audio, and everything all combined. Um, so anyway, so that just kind of shows you. I just want to show you that real quick. Another way of doing that. Now, um, if you're interested, I will now tell you how I use this for my own purposes. Um, and, you know, you can use that. Or if you're done, I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, but I know there are some people who are going to be like, well, why would you do this? Okay, so here's here is an instance of where I do use this very thing for my microphone. Okay, so I use Skype. Um for my podcast, the Battlefield Podcast. Um, Skype has NDI capability. So any caller that is in my call, which for, for most of the time I have two people with their webcams and their microphones, um, Skype actually makes 
dedicated NBI, NDI outputs for their for their video and audio, and gives me direct signals to any receiver for NDI. So uh, for me, I use OBS Studio on my streaming PC, and it receives those dedicated NDI outputs. So I have control of that, and I can make uh, all kinds of different scenes with their individual cameras and microphones and all that. But it does not send an NDI feed from Skype using my microphone and camera. So I have to do that separately. So I do send my microphone using the dedicated NDI outputs filter to my streaming PC from OBS Studio on my gaming PC. And then that's how I tie my microphone into my uh, podcast scene. I also send, I have a webcam that's actually... Uh, on my streaming PC and I use that webcam uh, if you have another webcam video capture source you could and, and it's on your gaming PC you could set that up and send an NDI output to your streaming PC but for me I have a webcam already installed on there matter of fact this is one right here the one that I'm using and um, so that's how I tie my microphone in. There is a lot of people I know that want to have a dedicated microphone channel to their stream PC going into their streaming software. This is how you can do it using OBS Studio. Okay, guys? So I hope that helped you out. Uh, I really think this gives you a ton of flexibility. And in essence, if you really wanted to, you can send every single source that you have in OBS Studio over as a dedicated NDI output and then you can control all the audio and video on the streaming PC if you wanted to do that. Just be aware of this. It uses a lot of bandwidth. I did this setup using everything that I would need on my streaming PC and it used about 200 megabit per second from my gigabit network. So it's a lot of it's a lot of bandwidth for some video and audio. Just keep that in mind. Without the video, it was typically anywhere from fifty to seventy-five. Okay, but the more higher bit rate that you have uh, set for your audio, the higher bandwidth it's going to use. So for me, I use a hundred and sixty bit rate on mine. Um, some people use one ninety-two. Some people even go out go crazy and do three twenty for their recordings. Um, you know, I keep mine at 160 is all I need. But this is just some extra data that you might want to think about when you're doing this. Um, again, NDI is not for people that have older routers and have 10, 100 LANs in their home. This is for people that have gigabit routers uh, and um, Ethernets on their computers for their home network because um, it takes up a good bit of bandwidth. But if you have this, you know, you don't ever need a capture card to do any of this. And now you can send all these individual outputs using OBS Studio over to your streaming rig. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out. And if it did, hit the like. I do appreciate it. Um, I uh, have really enjoyed doing these tutorials with you. And the comments keep them coming, guys. Listen, nothing better not. I, it warms my day up to get up in the morning and go into my YouTube comments and see uh, just how much you guys are enjoying this. Uh, it really, uh, it feeds me. It makes me want to do more. So keep the comments coming. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Um, if you're having issues and you do want to get with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do charge a fee service. Um, it is fairly reasonable, but it goes to a charity. It doesn't actually go to me. Um, but anyway, if you are interested in that, you can hit me up at my uh, Gmail at thefrugalstringer at gmail.com. And I will try to get back with you as soon as possible with that. Um, you can also join my Discord. I have the link down below in, in the description. All right, guys, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.